Here's your Storm Track 5 weather forecast. Now, meteorologist Ricky Matthews. Well, welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a good Saturday morning already. And if you have plans to head out this afternoon, I think you're going to like the forecast because really no weather impacts this morning. I know it looks a little scary on our downtown Bristol camera. You're probably thinking it's going to pour down rain out there, but I promise you, What's happening is the sun is behind the clouds, making them look a little bit darker than they actually are. Not a whole lot of rain falling from the sky this morning. A little bit of rain overnight, though. UVA wise this morning, also seeing the cloudy skies with temperatures generally in the upper 60s across the region. 70 in Abington, 71 in Rogersville, 72 in Greenville. We're around 67 in Mountain City and Boone, and then 68 in Harlan, Kentucky this morning. Across the whole region, we had a little bit of rain overnight. As I mentioned, it had some showers and storms pushed across portions of Kingsport. You'll see that on our radar loop. There they go. Showers and storms pushing east of Johnson City over towards Boone through the overnight hours, waking a few people up across the region. But as we go into the current time, most of that rain is pushed off to the north and east, and it's really out of our area. So no worries this afternoon. The one thing you probably will feel, though, is the air you can feel outside with dew points in the upper 60s to low 70s. It's going to feel pretty muggy outside and as we go through the day those dew points will drop a little bit but it's still going to feel slightly uncomfortable outside this afternoon with those high dew points around. The good news is even with the high dew points we won't see a whole lot of rain this afternoon. Our future radar not showing a whole lot of rain through the afternoon. Any rain I think if it does occur will probably be confined to the higher elevations maybe east of the Tri-Cities over towards maybe Mountain City, Elizabeth, and you could see a little bit of rain this afternoon. So we'll throw in a slight chance for an isolated shower or storm, but otherwise mostly cloudy temperatures generally in the mid to upper 80s across the region. 85 towards Grundy, 87 in Lebanon, 85 in Mountain City, and 86 in Elizabeth in this afternoon. Lows tonight will generally be in the low to mid 60s. I think maybe some upper 60s in spots where a little bit more cloud cover moves in. Otherwise, mainly partly cloudy skies, some fog possible as well, especially if you see a rain shower this afternoon. Otherwise, stray shower or storm also possible with winds generally light across the region. Our severe threat tracker, though, a few things to take note of on here. Pretty low for Saturday, but increasing as we go into Sunday and Monday. A few storms on Sunday, better chance of rain and storms as we go into Monday and Tuesday. What's going to happen is we've got a big dome of high pressure that's going to set up to our west. And as that sets up, these storm systems and little pulses of energy are going to ride in from the northwest. And as those storms move in, they're going to have the potential to produce some strong gusty winds. And that's why the Storm Prediction Center has outlined areas to our west for tomorrow in this slight risk of severe weather. And then that risk of severe weather moves closer to us as we go into the day on Monday. The Tri-Cities included in the slight risk of severe weather for some damaging wind gusts. Better chance of severe weather across portions of Illinois and Indiana and Western Kentucky as well, but that risk probably will shift a little bit further east as we go through the day on Monday. So stay tuned. We could have some strong storms moving through here late in the day on Monday and again on Tuesday. The next three days of weather, temperatures in the upper 80s with a slight chance of rain today and tomorrow. Better chance of rain on Monday and Tuesday. Generally after that, rain chances to go down a little bit. I think we'll have about a 40, 50 percent chance for some scattered storms throughout the rest of the week. But temperatures warming up to near 90 late in the week, a really hot one to end our week, Olivia. That's what I love. I love those 90 degree temperatures. It gets a little toasty out there, but it feels so nice. It, it's July, so I mean, if you don't like it, it's what, only a couple months till winter, we'll be talking about snow again. And the rain is on its way. Yeah. <laughs> That'll cool things down. Thank you so much, Ricky.